All right, guys, what's up? Your boy K3 back. Today we're gonna be doing another little story time. You feel me? So today's story is about when I my first time getting stitches. All right, so first I'm gonna tell y'all about the the setting, all that crap. So it is tornado <laughs> warning. It's windy, very windy. It's raining, it's thunderstorming, all that. It comes with a tornado, all that, bro. At this time, I'm in like the first grade. Yeah. So, let me get this started off. So, we just came from the storm, right? You know, got back to the crib. We was at my grandma's house. I think we used to stay with them for a while. So, we was going to their crib. So, this is where it all starts. <laughs> my mama says, here, grab the umbrella. Keep in mind, it is windy, like, moving, like, at least 50 miles per hour type wind. So, little me, I grabbed the umbrella. She's like, hurry up and run to the house. What do I, what else am I going to do? I, like, I'm going to run. So, I took off running. It's storming. Bro, the umbrella like this already. So, I'm, <laughs> and then that jump just, you know how the umbrella got the little frame? Bro, that jump slipped, tore back. And a piece slashed off of that, bro. And it cut me. I still got a small scar, but it cut me right here. It cut me on my thumb. It cut me in my pinky. Bro, I didn't even notice it because I didn't feel it. So, I'm running. I look down. I see blood. I only saw the blood from my pinky. Didn't see the rest of my hand. So, I got to the house. Bro. I'm just like, oh, it's a small cut. I'm finna put a band-aid on it. It ain't nothing. Bro, I go in there. My grandma freaks out. <laughs> like, goes crazy. She's like, boy, what the heck? She's like, boy, what did you do to your hand? He's like, oh, my God. Starts running water on it. I didn't see nothing. Still, I'm like, it's just a cut on my pinky. It's a small cut. It ain't that big. Bro, she come to light. I turned my hand over, but I seen the rest. All right. So, we rinsing my hand down in water, right? So, it's a little slab right here. It's cut out. And all I see is it's flipping, flopping, flipping, and flopping. So, my dumb self starts flipping and flopping, flipping and flopping it. Because, like, it's it's open. like, And it was just different. And I ain't never had, I ain't never cut myself that bad to need stitches. So, I'm like, bruh, it's open. What? <laughs> What? Why is my hand cut open? I didn't, even, I didn't even feel it. You would think you would feel something that deep of a cut. So I'm like, bruh. So then I start to panic a little bit. I'm not really too scared because it ain't like, at times I'm like, I'm not finna bleed. I ain't bleeding that, that bad. My grandma was freaking out. She wrapped my hand up. My mama walks in the house. Bruh. Ain't taking long for everybody in the crib to go crazy and start screaming and being scared. So, my mama started going to the hospital. Keep in mind, it's still storming. I just got out the storm to go back into the storm. So, now I'm like, bruh, all this was for nothing. I made it home, and now I got to go back out. So, we got lost <laughs> on the way to the place for a little bit. Called up my pops. He told us which way to go. We go to this. It was either Mad Check or some little small clinic, bro. Um, oh, me, bro. It was like, um, well, there's nothing we can do here. Um, we don't do surgeries or stuff like that. So, they like, here. They wrap my hand up with a towel and some ice. At the time, I'm like, it's a cut. What the heck is ice going to do? Yeah, so now my hand bleeding and cold. Two things I hate. So now I'm panicking because I hate the cold. So that's just a no go. And my hands bleeding. So I'm bleeding and freezing. I'm bleeding and freezing. So I'm like, this turns from a great day at the store to a horrible, horrible day. So I y'all don't understand how much I hate the cold. And y'all understand how much I hate blood. If I see blood, I'm going to want to hurl. If anything cold touches me, I'm going to cringe pretty much. 
So I'm like, oh my god. So we rush. I smiled it. I still don't feel this. It ain't hurting. I just see it bleeding. So we rush down to the hospital. Finally out there. Got some emergency attention. You know, we got through there real quick. The doctor's here. He's like, um, well, we're going to have to do surgery. We're going to have to get you stitches. Um, yeah. So, they tell me, lay down flat <laughs> and turn the other way. <laughs> Bro, then I started to panic. I'm like, why I got to turn the other way? Is it that bad? I can't look at it. Is it that bad? I got to look away? What y'all finna do? Bruh, I didn't even feel the stitches, bruh. They would sit here and like, um, just tell us if you feel anything. I'm like, mine, they numbed it up. So I'm like, I'm not gonna feel anything anyways. Why would I feel anything? So I'm like, just chilling. About 10, 20 minutes later, I'm look, bro. They're like, we're done. I'm like, hold up, done? Y'all ain't even do nothing. I ain't feel nothing. I turn around, I see stitches all through my hand. I'm like, they had to run, rub some cream on my pink because it wasn't that deep of a cut. It was a small cut. It was like, here, rub this on it, and it'll heal up. It'll heal itself. You know, I still got this little lump right here in my pinky. I guess the skin connected back a little wrong. So now it's a little crooked. But And then my thumb cut up. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. I cut. Thing. Like, kind of. Y'all see this little slit on my wrist? This little brown cut right here. Yeah, I got cut right there too, and was bleeding. Surprised it didn't hit a vein or something, but hey, it's all good. And I got cut on, I think my other hand too. There, I cut on both my pinkies, bro. Both my little pinky, bro. I'm like. I'm saying, like, doctor, how long are these stitches gonna take? Now I gotta go to school. I'm in the first grade. I'm in the first grade. I don't wanna go to school with stitches. That's different. Like, what? I'm walking there. They're like, I walk in there. They went, what? What happened? Are you okay? What happened? What happened? I'm like, leave me alone. I just, I got cut. And it's stitches. Like, what else is there that could ha happen? I'm like, so now I'm sitting here in front of class. You know, I'm the main event because I got cut up. So I'm like, nigga, what? Battle scars. I'm getting close. So I'm telling the story. I'm like, bro, man, that umbrella, bro. It was storm. I'm like, bro, it's a tornado. A fat tornado. Like, moving 100 miles per hour. I'm exaggerating because I'm. You know, I'm exaggerating. Y'all hyping me up, so now I'm hyped up. I'm exaggerating. I'm like, bro, it was a fat tornado moving like 100 miles per hour, bro. Bro, I'm running. I'm, I got bags in my hand. I'm running. I'm dipping. I'm being a savior of the food, bro. And then, like, Umbrella was like, no. And he yanked me back, and it just snapped. I was like, he yanked me back. I pulled it back, and it snapped, and it just, and I was like, I don't care. I ain't even feel it. It don't even hurt that bad. I ran up to the house. I'm cool. I'm like, bro, I ain't nothing. I'm a goat. It's going to heal up. It don't even hurt. I had to go to the hospital and get stitches, but that's, that's the outside point. I'm an OG. It don't hurt. I'm too cold for that. Can't stop me. What? I'm stronger than these little cuts, bro. Cuts don't hurt me. That's how I'm exaggerating. And then we went back to class. And it was over, so... Yeah, I had a few moments, a few minutes to plow it. It was irritating, but my family was freaking out. Like, like, freaking, freaking out. Like, they was going through some crazy time. It was like, oh my God, I'm like, get me up with this. I swear, call that one. I'm like, bro, it ain't even that deep. If I ain't, bro, this how you know something ain't that bad. If I ain't panicking and it's about me, don't freak out that bad. Because I would be panicking way worse if it was really that deep and it was actually dangerous. Because if, if I felt like it was any type of danger, I would have freaked out. They was going crazy. But, yeah, that's, that's the story, y'all.
Hope y'all enjoyed it. Go like and subscribe. Y'all already know what to do. Y'all hit the buttons. Turn on notifications so y'all can see more videos like this. Tell your friends and just share it, bro. Just go hit the link and share it to a couple people. Share it to about at least three people. If everybody says, hey, 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 h